Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, we have done so many number programs. You can check those in the playlist of number programs. And today I am here with one more number program of abundant number. The definition of abundant number I have written here. A number for which the sum of its proper divisors is greater than the number itself. Then that number is said to be abundant number. The examples are 12, 18, 20, 24 like this. Now for this first we have to check the proper divisors. Now divisor is the number by which you divide any number. Say if I take a number 17 by 3 then 3 is our divisor. Right? And in proper divisor you don't get any remainder. That means the remainder is 0. Then that divisor is known as proper divisor. Okay. And when we talk about abundant number, that number is not included. In proper divisor, that number is not included. That means for finding the divisors for 17, 17 will not be included. Let me start with 12. 12 is the first abundant number. So the divisors, the proper divisors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. 12 divided by 1, remainder is 0. 12 divided by 2, remainder is 0. 12 divided by 3, remainder is 0. 12 divided by 4, remainder is 0. 12 divided by 6, remainder is 0. Right? Now these are the proper divisors of 12. And if you will add these, you will get the answer as 16. So 16 is more than 12. So 12 is abundant number, right? Let me take one example of 15. If you take the proper divisors of 15, those will be 1, 3, 5. Now if you will add these, you will get 9. So 9 is smaller than 15, so 15 is not the abundant number, whereas 12 is the abundant number. So where the sum of the proper divisors of the number is more than the number, then that number is known as abundant number. I hope it is clear to you. Before we proceed, I would like to tell you some exciting information. Unacademy is giving free subscription for its creative corner to its users, those who ask seven doubts in their ask a doubt feature. So children, it is a win-win situation where you can ask your doubt, your doubts will be cleared by the topmost educators and at the same time you will get the opportunity to get to join this creative corner. In this creative corner, you have more than 100 skills which you can learn. Now, let me name a few. Here, you can learn how to develop a computer game. You can learn about Vedic Maths. You can learn robotics. You can learn music. You can learn public speaking skills and many more. So, children, get your doubts cleared in physics, chemistry, maths and biology in Ask a Doubt feature and get the opportunity, grab the opportunity to join this creative corner and don't forget to use the code LEAP CLASSES. All the best children. Now let me tell you the logic first and then we will do the program for this. For explaining you the logic, I am taking the example, the number as 12 only. Now for finding the proper divisors of 12, we will take the loop starting from 1 till less than 12 and every time we will be dividing this number with that looping variable wherever the remainder is 0 that means that number is the proper divisor of 12 and we will be adding those proper divisors and after completion of the entire loop we will check whether that sum is more than 12 or not more than 12 and accordingly we will decide whether the 12 number is abundant number or not. So for finding proper divisor we will take modulus 1. So modulus sign gives you the remainder. So this is 0 that means 1 is proper divisor. So we will take a variable for storing the sum that will be initially initialized by 0 and now it will be 0 plus 1 will be 1. 
Then we will take 12 modulus 2 is again 0. 2 6 is 12. Remainder is 0. So here 1 plus 2 will be 3. And 12 modulus 3 is again 0. That means 3 is also a proper divisor. So 3 plus 3 will be 6. Then 12 modulus 4 is equals to 0. Yes. So here it will be 6 plus 4 equals to 10. 12 modulus 5 is not equals to 0. It is not a proper divisor. So we will not add 5 to this 10. Then 12 modulus 6 will be equals to 0. And you will add 10 to this. It will be 16. Similarly, you will be doing 12 modulus 7. It will not be 0. 12 modulus 8 will not be 0. 12 modulus 9 will also not be 0. 12 modulus 10 not be 0. 12 modulus 11 will not be equals to 0. So after the entire loop in some variable we have got 16. So we will be checking whether 16 is more than 12 or not. Yes, 16 is more than 12. So it is abundant number, right? I hope the logic for this number is clear to you. Now let us start with the programming statements. Since we have to input the number, so I have used here java.util package because we want to use scanner class functions. And we have taken the class, we have taken main function. Then the first thing which we have to do is to create the scanner object. Scanner sc equals to new scanner system.in. Children, this sc is the object name. You can take any name of your choice. Then we have taken one variable n of int type and one variable sum also of int type. And the sum is initialized by 0 because we want to store the addition result in that. So children, earlier also in many videos, I have told you wherever we want to store the addition result, we have to initialize it by 0 because 0 is additive identity, right? So after this, we have given the message enter a number and n equals to sc.nextint. sc.nextint, this function is used to input integer type values, right? Now what we have to do? For finding the proper divisors, we have to take the loop starting from 1 till less than that number, right? So, we will be taking the loop for int i equals to 1, i less than n. Here, you will not take less than equals to n, right? Please make it sure. Many children, they forget they are in habit of writing less than equals to always. So, please read the question carefully whether that n you have to include or it has to be excluded. So, for abundant number, we don't have to include that number, right? So, it has to be excluded. So, it will go till less than n only and every time it will be incremented by 1. So, here you will check if n modulus i is equals to 0. That means i is the proper divisor if this condition is found to be true. If it is a proper divisor, you have to add that to some variable, sum equals to sum plus i. And if it is not, it will move to the next iteration. If it is yes, then it will add and after that it will go to the next iteration. Okay. After completion of this entire loop in sum, we will have the addition of all the proper divisors of number n. Now what we have to do, yes, we have to check whether this sum is more than n or not. If the value of sum is more than n, that means that is an abundant number. So using print statement, you will be displaying that system.out.println abundant number. Otherwise, we will print it is not an abundant number. So children, this is very simple program and you must practice all the number programs which are there in the playlist and many more definitions are also there.
close main and then you close class. I hope the logic and the program for the abundance number is clear to all of you. Children, one program always comes from numbers. And you don't have to learn the definitions and the program for different types of numbers. You should be knowing how to extract the digit, what calculation is to be performed, how the checking will be done. And this will come only through practice. In today's PDF, you will get the definitions of different numbers. Please do try those number programs. Those who haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You can join us on our Telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. You may follow us on Instagram also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing. Keep doing number programs. God bless you children.